Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd. So let's just see what comes up. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So this reading may not be for you. I just cut it to the hangman. So this is thinking, thinking a lot, um, going within. Uh, thinking about everything that has happened. Going through a spiritual awakening. We have somebody here that may be sacrificing themselves. There's a reason though. There's a reason. It's, this is like a period of waiting. So I feel like there's a need to wait and be patient. This is like taking time to think about things. Eight of Wands reverse, maybe not really communicating, you know? We may have somebody here that isn't really communicating. They're not really doing anything because they're thinking. They may be planning, they may be re-identifying, or you know, they're they're thinking about their future, I believe. They may have a certain way, you know, gaining a new perspective. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is trying to look at things from a different perspective. Going through a period of change, I believe. It's like, with the hanged man, this is like, this is how it's always been. You know, sticking to it, sticking to it, but a new perspective is needed. So we have somebody here that's probably struggling with a change. And that's what it looks like to me. I feel like we have somebody here that is struggling with a change and they need to uh, surrender and allow and let go. You know, it's struggling. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. I feel like things are moving forward and there's a need to be open-minded, okay? Be open-minded. But it's hard. It's hard. Somebody needs to let something go and be open, be open, be open to change, right? So take, taking time to think about everything. Ten of Wands reverse. Now the Ten of Wands reverse is making a conscious change. This is uh, balance awaits. Okay, so we have somebody here that has worked hard to become successful at whatever it is that they've been doing. You know, they've put in a lot of effort. They have a lot on their back. They have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens, perhaps. You know, they've worked hard to get to this place. And now it's about change. It's about letting go and relaxing. And uh, I feel like it's going in a different direction. But this will require letting go. And the hey man's about needing to let go as well. So somebody, you know, is in the process of making a conscious change. They have become successful in their previous approach, but perhaps it's time to let it go. It's time to let that go. It's time to let something go. Six of Wands, Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's progress, it's leadership. There's some sort of recognition here, could even be public recognition. I feel like we have somebody here that's definitely going in a new direction because that's what sixes are. So we have somebody here that is is all done. It feels like they've you know they they fought battles, they've overcome some battles, they've been in competitions, you know they've played their games. I feel like they're done. Okay, it's definitely time to relax. It's time to uh, maybe there's even travel because sixes are traveling. Take another step.
I feel like we have an individual that is is uh, leaving something behind as well that has been weighing them down. There's definitely going to be movement. I feel like this individual is a leader, okay? They don't like to give up. They don't give up. This is somebody that works hard to become successful, definitely. So we have a hard worker here. I know that we do. It's time to uh, stop fighting change by the looks of things. The battle is over. This is a battle is over. This is a win, right? It is a win. Letting go brings, you've already become successful with whatever that was. It's time, it's time. That's like with the hey man. It's time to, to stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting it, whatever it is. And I do believe we have somebody here that is done. It's like they've reached a point where they are going in a, this is I'm done. It really is. I'm, I'm done. So I do believe there's going to be a change. I, what I just heard was congratulations. So I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from. Ooh. Three of Cups reverse. Now, Three of Cups reverse is parting ways, part dashed expectations, parting ways from a relationship, a friendship, you know, separating. It is. It's no longer on the same page. There's a lack of emotional growth. There's nothing to celebrate. You know, this isn't happy. Now, we may have somebody that's leaving behind, you know, friends or family. And I see that in the Six of Wands as well. This person's like, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't, I can't hold on to this. It's weighing me down. It's weighing me down. It's not making me happy. So somebody is going. They're going somewhere. There could be gossip. There could be people talking. You know, there's, there's definitely an individual here that is, has been overwhelmed. They've had a lot on their plate. They probably have people that don't really support them. There's a lack of support with the Three of Cups. There could be gossiping, people talking behind people's back, just no support, lack of emotional growth as well. Freeing, somebody's freeing themselves from a situation that they're not happy in. I also feel like there's gossip. There's gossip or there's people that, whether it's family or friends that just don't support them. This is taking the leadership position. We have a leader here that is dropping something. Somebody is really taking charge, I believe. They're dropping something. Could be even dropping weight with that Ten of Wands reversed. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is a turning point. It is a turning point. There's some sort of making, seeing an improvement. I feel like we have somebody here that's been struggling, definitely struggling, struggling uh, maybe with victim mentality, struggling with asking for help, maybe even struggling financially. There could even be a soul. We may have somebody here that is a social outcast with the Three of Cups reversed next to this Five of Pentacles. There's some sort of social pressure here or no support from people. Somebody has been, been uh, outcast by the looks of things. But in this card, I feel like we had definitely have a turning point. Somebody's definitely been thinking a lot thinking about their life and I feel like they've reached a point where they're ready. It feels like they're ready. They're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for um, to accept. I'm ready to accept. I also feel like we have somebody here that's been lonely. You know, they've been really, really lonely.
we do have a warrior here. We have a warrior, warrior here that is about to take charge. They're dropping something that has been holding them down, maybe friends or family or a job or some could be a job. Justice reversed, injustice, unfair treatment, poor decision. There could be a major financial loss here. We may have, have somebody that's been uh, working so hard to be successful and they aren't seeing any financial improvements. There's an imbalance here. There is an imbalance. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. They aren't. But it's because they chose to hold on. For somebody who chose to hold on to, I don't know, maybe it's a third party situation because the, the Ten of Wands upright is holding on, so isn't the hangman. And, and then we have the Three of Cups. They chose to. They chose to fight. They chose to play the game. They chose to uh, not make the decision to own up to the truth, to not be honest with themselves. The Five of, five of Pentacles reversed, though, is a turning point that's coming out of victim mentality. I believe that we have somebody here that is coming out of that victim mentality and they're going to be going in a new direction but anyhow the six of six of wands is, is is victory after sorrow and i feel like we have this person that is progressing forward has been urged to it's like they've been told to go just go just go you know just go if you're not happy if you're not getting what you deserve you know if you're not getting any reciprocation just go it feels like they've been told to go i feel like we have the end of a difficult situation here somebody the ba a battle is ending somebody has been fighting accepting the truth because that's a justice reverse but i feel like there's you know a need to be honest and upfront. There's probably somebody that has been lying to themselves. That's how I feel. Trying to hold on to something that was weighing them down from success. That's the Ten of Wands reverse next to the Six of Wands. Somebody has been held back from their own success. I don't know if there's a bunch of bitches here or something like that with this three of cups reverse or there's a bunch of people here or there's three people here that are telling them, you know, something. I feel like there's, I don't know, could be a third party situation as well. We definitely have a relationship that is not on the same page. There's a, there's disharmony. There's, there's an imbalance. There's no reciprocation. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. And this could be a financial. This could be not getting the money. Somebody may not be getting paid what they deserve, or they're just not getting what they deserve. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. They're not getting the uh, support that they deserve. But I feel like they're being, it feels like they're also being told by other people to leave. You know what I mean? It's interesting. We have somebody here that is in a leadership position that is about to take, take, take charge. There's going to be change. There is going to be a change. There's a, there's a parting of ways. Somebody is parting ways with the Three of Cups reversed. Oh, Eight of Wands. It's powered out of the deck. Now it's upright. This is things moving fast. This is also news arriving on swift wings. You know, things happening fast. 
good news ar arriving. So I believe that somebody, things are going to speed up. Things are going to change. When they change, they're going to change fast. There's going to be an increase in communication. There could also be an increase of intimacy because I, I see that with the Eight of Wands as well. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready. They're ready. I feel like this is pretty exciting. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what I see the most of, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is going to be moving forward. They're leaving something behind that was weighing them down. I feel like they were struggling with letting go with that hangman, struggling with letting go because they worked so hard, you know, to, and they needed to prove something maybe to society with that three of cups, three of cups about social, social to me, social pressure. It really is or peer pressure even, but moving forward very fast, finding the determination, the perseverance to leave it all behind. Somebody's leaving something behind there. And they're going to be taking action very much. I mean, fast action. They're ready. They're ready. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like I feel like this is like uh, coming out. It's like coming out, coming coming out of the darkness with the Five of Pentacles reversed and things changing fast. It's like realizing the truth. And moving in a new direction. Anyhow, the Six of Wands is a, is a is a hero, right? This is a this is a warrior that is taking the lead. So somebody's taking charge. Oh, the devil reversed, and the devil reversed is breaking free, or things getting worse. This is somebody that has been tied to a situation that is toxic, that is unhealthy. It's dark. This is freedom. And the Ten of Wands reversed is freedom as well. And the Six of Wands. So I feel like we have some freedom here. Somebody is definitely breaking free. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like it's from a toxic friendship or a toxic partnership or a toxic bond. I put it right on top of the Three of Cups reversed. It's toxic. It's not healthy. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of fighting. It's overwhelming. There is freedom here. There's freedom. I feel like there's an argument with no resolution in sight with that justice card reverse. It's like there's no there's no resolution in sight. This is this isn't, you know, there's no reason to fight. There's there's agree to disagree and I'll leave. That kind of thing. Breaking free. Ready. Moving fast. Hermit reverse, coming out of hiding, reconnecting, socializing. Somebody has been thinking a lot. They haven't been really communicating because they had to make a choice, right? They had to stop. Maybe they, had to, maybe they weren't ready to stop playing games because you think about they weren't ready to stop dealing with all the competition. Maybe they liked all the attention they were getting from being in the position that they were in. Somebody was getting a lot of uh, recognition from a lot of other people. 
you know, and they were playing, you know, they were playing because before the six of wands is the five of wands, which is the competition, it is the games. So you may have somebody that was thinking, you know, am I ready? Am I ready to stop playing games? Am I, am I ready? Am I ready to stop playing games? Am I ready for this big, huge change? Am I ready? Because the Three of Cups is about cheating, right? It, it can be. It absolutely can be. It could be third-party situations. It could be having, you know, a bunch of women here or a bunch of men even. It's a bunch of having fun. You know, am I ready to give up the games? Am I ready to stop having fun? Am I, you know, ready to be honest with myself? Am I ready? Am I ready to move in this direction and, you know, let go of my lust and my greed and my obsessions and my fears and my ego and you know give up my you think about the hermit the hermit is somebody that you know tends to be alone give up my my loan give up my independence even so i feel like we do have somebody here that has been thinking or they've been thinking about becoming independent maybe they're in a toxic situation you know and they aren't happy he's definitely unhappiness here with the three of cups reverse that's not happy and there's a lot of thinking going on and i know that there is so we have somebody here that has been thinking about you know whether they want to uh, this is a big decision. It's a big decision. And I feel like, you know, are they ready? Are you ready to stop playing games? Are you ready to stop, you know, uh, well, you're going to have to get, get control of your ego. Somebody may have to control their ego with the devil reverse. They may have to, well, it's breaking free from a from a from ego, from ego, from needing attention, from uh, making poor decisions, breaking free from uh, playing games. You know, for dealing with a player here. You know, anyhow, um, if hermit reversed is, which we have. We had that with the hangman thinking. This is come. This is like. I think we have somebody who has been soul searching. They've been soul searching and it feels like they've made, you know, they're going to be reconnecting, put it that way. There's going to be communication from this person that is, has, uh, is ready. This person is now ready. They're ready. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to stop playing games. Somebody's ready to stop playing games. They're going in a new direction. They've been thinking about it. And it's a big decision. There's been an indecision with the justice reversed. There's been indecision. It's been like, oh my God, oh my God, you know? Do I want to be alone? And it's interesting because I saw loneliness at the beginning of this. And I saw it in the Five of Pentacles. Anyhow, um, it's like loneliness. Do I give up my independence? Do I, you know, do I accept this? Do I accept this offer? So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to uh, make a conscious change. I think it's a big change. I feel like this has to do with something that they have been committed to or something that they've been dealing with for a while. And I feel like it has to do with attention, about getting into attention. Because once this change happens, um, it either changes the relationship with uh, whoever they've been with, it changes their whole environment. It does. This is definitely a turning point of some sort. I know that it is. I feel like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready. They're ready for something healthy. They're ready for a change. They're ready for... Uh, to move forward. Success. This is somebody that's taking initiative. They've been indecisive because of the instant gratification, because of the ego, because of their, you know, uh, need, their desires. You know, when, when you make this change, everything changes. And that's why they've been thinking so much. 
No, this changes everything. This changes everything. And that's why there's been some soul searching because, you know, is this what it really, really what I want? Devil, devil reverse, breaking free from an, from ego, from fear even. Fear, fear of, maybe there's even fear of being cheated on or fear of, of giving up, fear of, fear of um, commitment, okay? Fear of giving up independence, fear, that could be it. With the devil reverse next to the hermit reverse, that's like, that could be fear of giving up independence, fear of, you know, stepping into unknown territory. But for some of you, it's fear of being alone. Some of you may be in a toxic partnership with that devil, a toxic bond. Whatever this is, it's fear. And it's a big change. It is a big change. But there's, we got somebody here that is definitely ready. They're ready. I feel like they're being urged to do it, you know. So this is about making a conscious change. Get prepared for some movement. Good luck.